I found seven easy, high paying work from home jobs that you can get into relatively easily and they're not going to be that difficult or time consuming. Yes, these are jobs and a lot of them are relatively new. They just became available in the last few years where you can get into them relatively easily. And once you get in, you don't have to work all that hard. And the first one on the list is going to be a patient engagement specialist. So basically you're gonna be providing guidance to patients and you're gonna be making sure that they follow their medical recommendations. And in this position, you'd make about $56,000 a year. And to get started, you could visit a website like plyo.com. And all you really need is a computer, an internet connection, and a reliable headset. And just like many healthcare jobs, there is going to be some training provided, but typically it is provided by the company themselves. Now, some of the skills you might need for this one are, of course, excellent communication skills, empathy, patience, and a genuine desire to help others. So the pros of this one are it's very meaningful work. There's no certifications or degrees degrees required, and you have the opportunity to improve healthcare outcomes. Some of the cons of this one are it can be emotionally demanding at times, and it may require adapting to various patient personalities and health conditions. But overall, there's a ton of super random like niche health careers that are relatively easy to get into. Many of them don't require a degree at all. In some cases, they do require a degree, but they don't care what degree you have. And this is going to be one of them. So I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a student safety safety analyst. And this is a relatively easy, high paying remote job that involves monitoring the safety of students with an emphasis on the online safety. And it doesn't require specific certifications and degrees. And in most cases, it does not require previous experience either. And by the way, one comment that I do get sometimes people will check out the job listings and they'll say, oh, it requires one to three years of experience. Anytime you see an entry level job that requires one to three years of experience, just ignore it and apply anyways. This is something that's like really obvious to me and the people that I teach, but sometimes people that don't understand how the weird like modern job system works might not see that. So one place you could work for, for instance, is securely.com. And here's an opportunity. I'll put it on the screen. You can check it out. They have really good ratings. And in this position, you would expect to make about 60 to $95,000 a year. So the pros of this one are to make a positive impact on student well-being, high earning potential, and keeping up with digital trends and technologies. Some of the cons of this one are the emotional toll of dealing with online risks, the need for constant vigilance and attention to detail and the potential exposure to disturbing or sensitive content. But overall, this is another really good one. Almost all the jobs are remote and I'll give it an opportunity score of eight out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a game level designer. And this one is all about crafting the gameplay experience. And you're gonna be designing the levels, environments and challenges within a video game. Now this one doesn't require a degree or certifications. Having previous experience in the video game industry will help though. Although if you have a good portfolio, you can still land a job. Now the salary for this one does vary, but it's typically between 59 and $91,000 a year. Now I will say this is definitely going to be one of the harder ones to get into on the list. But the fact that you get to work with video games is awesome. And that's going to make your job easy because you're not really going to be working if you're creating video games. Here are some opportunities for game level design. I'll put it up on the screen. You can definitely check it out if you'd like to. Now the pros of this one are you get to unleash your creativity, you get to work on exciting projects, and you get to collaborate with talented individuals. Individuals. The cons of this one are it is a competitive industry, there are tight deadlines, and you're going to need to continuously adapt to evolving technology and gaming trends. So I thought I'd put this one in there just in case you're the type of person who wants to work in something that you're really passionate about. It is going to be a little bit harder than the other ones on the list to get into it. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a data coordinator. And basically anything that has to do with data is going to be extremely hot right now. And basically you're going to be responsible for organizing, managing, and analyzing data for organizations. Now, this is another one that does not require a specific degree. Certifications do help. And also having a good portfolio that showcases your data-related skills really helps as well. But this is one you can land at the entry level without any previous work experience and without a college degree. And typically, you'd make about $40,000 a year. For this one, you're going to need strong analytical skills, attention to detail, proficiency in data management tools and software, and the ability to communicate data insights effectively. Here are a few opportunities that you can check out. I'll put them up on the screen. Now, the pros of this one are it definitely has a lot of remote jobs available and it's very flexible. You also have the opportunity to work with data and derive meaningful insights and no specific certifications or degrees are required. Some of the cons here are dealing with large data sets and complex data structures remotely can be difficult. You also have to have a very meticulous attention to detail. And this is another one of those careers where you have to have continuous learning to keep up with the evolving data analysis techniques and 
and technologies. But overall, I really like this one. Anything involved in data is gonna have a ton of opportunity. And of course, you don't have to remain a data coordinator for the rest of your life. You can move into like a data analyst position, which pays more. And then there's a bunch of other positions above that that are data related that pay even more than that. And you can make it to the $200,000 plus dollar a year mark. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a social media agent. And in this one, you're gonna be engaging with an organization's online community, creating captivating content, and driving brand awareness. One company you could apply for is liveworld.com. Here's an opportunity. It's a great place to work for, has a lot of positive reviews online. And typically you'd make about $50,000 a year. And in this position, you'd wanna have strong communication skills, creativity, a deep understanding of various social media platforms, and the ability to analyze data and trends. Some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to showcase creativity, the ability to connect and engage with a diverse online community, and you get to stay up to date with the latest digital trends and strategies if that's what you're into. Some of the cons of this one is kind of the same thing, just the flip side of the coin. You need to stay on top of the ever-changing algorithms and trends, and these always happen on social media. Every few years, things change. You also have a lot of potential pressure to maintain a consistent brand image, and there is the challenge of handling negative or sensitive comments. But overall, I really like this one. I'll go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, this is a type of digital marketing. And if you're interested in digital marketing, my friend Seth, who has literally helped like thousands of people to become digital marketers, does have a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And that will basically go over all the different types of digital marketing and the best ways to get into the industry. So definitely check that out if you have the time. It's highly recommended. The next one on the list is going to be a remote executive assistant. So you're basically going to be like the Robin to the Batman CEO. And basically, you're going to be responsible for providing administrative support to high level executives, managing schedules, coordinating meetings, and handling various tasks to ensure smooth operations. Now, this is another job that does not require any degree, doesn't require certifications or anything like that. Typically, people who go into this job do have some professional experience, but it doesn't necessarily have to be related. One website you could get started with this on is chatterboss.com. I'll put kind of an opportunity up on the screen. You can go check it out if you'd like. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $55,000 a year. Now, some of the skills that you would want to have in this position are going to be excellent organizational skills, good time management skills, strong communication abilities, and you're going to need to be proficient in relevant software and tools. Some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to support high-level professionals and gain valuable insights. So basically, this is almost like a free mentorship where you get to work along high-level executives. And in many cases, you'll be fielding calls from other high-level executives. So this can be great for networking as well. And you get a chance to develop strong organizational and multitasking skills. Some of the cons of this one are you need to manage multiple priorities and deadlines. You also have to be good at maintaining confidentiality and handling sensitive information, like when the boss tells you to order a present for his wife, and the possibility of working long hours during peak periods. But overall, this is another really good one. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. I will say that this one, depending on who you work for, can be hard sometimes. So I'd say it's one of the harder ones on the list. But if you're the type of person who likes to keep busy, like you want to keep busy because it makes the workday go faster, this is going to be a good one for you because it's not like that difficult. You're just going to be really busy. The next one on the list is going to be a digital communications coordinator. And the big thing about this position is every company kind of has a brand. They have their own values. They have their own mission statement. And your job is to make sure that all of your advertising and the content that's created from your company aligns with the brand and the values. So this is kind of a combination of digital marketing and also public relations. And this is another one that does not require any specific certifications or degrees. And in many cases, you can actually get into this position without having any previous experience. And you'd expect to make about $57,000 a year in this position. Here's a job opportunity or two. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. Some of these skills that you might need for this position are going to be excellent writing and editing skills, a deep understanding of social media platforms, creative thinking, and the ability to understand optics. Some of the pros of this one are your ability to unleash your creativity, the ability to shape brand narratives and engage with online communities, and there's a lot of flexibility and the ability to work remote. Some of the cons of this one are the need to stay updated on evolving digital platforms and algorithms, the pressure to consistently deliver engaging content, and the potential challenges in managing online reputation. But overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you're wondering what companies specifically are hiring almost all the time, I actually made a video on 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.